Welcome back. We need to track down Almata and Aaron. Where Aaron could be, I don't know. He may be down here somewhere. I'm assuming these guys will point us in the right direction, but... I don't know. I am wondering how Aaron's going to be feeling after what happened the previous night. I'd like to see how he is. Hopefully we can help him. Hopefully. But we have to do the round, see how everyone else is feeling about this situation right now. So, Melise. <laughs> I might have uh, gotten just a teensy bit carried away yesterday. So sorry. Uh, you went on and on about the Eastern Theatre... This and the Eastern Theatre, that's why we were out drinking. I'm getting a hangover just thinking about it. I know I said we should enjoy ourselves to the fullest, but everyone's on edge after last night's incident. There we go. I was wondering, like, why are you not speaking about what happened? Uh, let's not get carried away again. Fine, guess I can show a little restraint. I'll just stick to rummaging through the theatre's gift shop. I think she's developing an obsession with that place. Oh dear. I suppose now may not be the best time to sightsee. No. Don't think we should wander around aimlessly either. It's too scary around here. I'd love to watch another performance and cheer my heart out, but I'll just stick to shopping the wares. I'm becoming mildly concerned about her. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, hello. How are you feeling about this? Again, this is what's interesting about that situation. I am just curious to see how people will react. It's, it's got that feeling of... We haven't really had a situation like this since Crossbell, really? In terms of how it affects specific people. Like... It, Stuff that happened in Erebonia affect the entire nation, but this one was very localized to this district, this area. And I'm wondering how it's going to affect certain people, so it's like, ooh, how are you feeling? This is why it's like the Aaron story is going to be interesting, because we've, we've seen it happen to him, like, like instances in the past, like Joshua's backstory, for instance, like we heard about that after the fact. This time we've seen it happen with Aaron. It's got a different feeling as a result of that, and I'm, I'm wondering how that's going to play out. Hmm. Anyway. Just having thoughts, obviously. Uh, man, this is awful. Can't believe locals were murdered in cold blood. Even Elaine couldn't stop it from happening. I've got to get my act together. I'm worried about Aaron, but right now, I have to focus on the investigation. The perps are still on the loose, and we're going to be the ones who catch them. I genuinely can't think of another situation where... Alrighty. Something like that has happened... On such a personal level to one of the characters... That we've seen. Like, it's happened to other characters... But we've heard about it, we've been told about it. I can't, I can't remember an instance where it it's something we've literally been there for. Hmm. Anyway. I keep I keep just thinking about these things, just like it 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 is a heavy scene. That's the thing. It's like it's it's just playing on my mind as a result of what we saw and like what that could mean, how different this story is. It's not that different from what we've had previously, it's just its presentation feels different. F feels very reminiscent of stuff we saw in Crossbell. And that was very good when that happened. The heavy hitting stuff. Anyway. Anyway, you already collected the bodies, but there should still be other clues that'll lead us to the perps. You can leave this one to us, Spriggan. We'll take it from here, so you guys can head back to your inn. Hmm. I'm wondering how the police department is reacting to this as well. We got a bracer there, so I'm just again just wondering about like all the locals, all the different aspects, how they're going to react to this. I'm still in shock over what happened to Aaron's friends. Those boys used to come by this place all the time. I consider cancelling our performances for today, but I don't believe they would want that. 
Their love. They love our theatre more than anyone. We will do our utmost to put on the greatest shows this theatre has ever seen. That is the best way we can honour their memory. Good on you, mate. Good on you. The performers are all thinking of ways to raise people's spirits after last night. They really have an amazing strength of spirit. That might be why they're always able to put on such spectacular performances. Maybe it's insensitive for me to think about the fan club idea now, but I really want to spread those positive vibes to the people that need them. The performers are working extra hard to cheer up the locals. And Amali has been thinking about starting up her fan club so she can share some positivity. They're also amazing, unlike me. I'm just so worried about Aaron. I can't think of anything else. You're looking after, like, like, like the tickets and stuff like that, right? Like, concession stand, maybe? Because there's some crisps or chips over there. So it's like, no, 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 no. You, you've got to do your job as well. Like, you're part of the machine that is the theatre, you know. You're doing good. You're doing good. I just want to tell her that, and I, 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 I can't. It's annoying. I want to tell you, like, no, you're doing good. Don't worry about it. You're doing good. It's a horrible situation. You're doing amazing. I just can't believe those kids are gone now. They used to come here quite a lot. I hope Aaron's okay. I love them all like family. Yeah, again, it's it's that sort of... We get that aspect of the community rather than the nation. I feel that's what I'm feeling is, is going to be the difference here. Like if we went back to Edith... Is it even going to be mentioned that this happened down here? At Longport? I doubt it. Maybe one person, maybe two, maybe a few people that come up from here will mention it. But it I don't feel like it's going to be major news there. It's a very localized thing. Whereas stuff we've had previously, the whole nation felt it. Hmm. I feel that's why Crossbell's similar, because Crossbell was a smaller nation. So anything that happened there did sort of affect everyone because it was just very, very localized. Yeah. We're all down, but we're not out. I'm going to perform my heart out because that's what those guys would have wanted me to do. Indeed. I'm not sure if Aaron's ever going to perform again after what happened last night. Oh, he will. It's just, it's, it's going to take time for him to get back on his feet. After what happened, I, I, again, we need to speak to Aaron because that was a lot for him. He lost some good friends. So I'm going to sword dance in his stead. This is where us pros have to show our stuff. You doing proud, Khan. You doing proud, mate. Are we done in here? I think the, the, the one thing I'm finding effective about that scene, that part of the story that we've had, is... I'm at the moment struggling to get my thoughts together. And we're outside observers because we know we're going through the game. So like people in this kind of scenario would be horrendous. Horrendous. Things got a little strange last night with the mist. Is this one of those mystical wonders of the East? Is it a common occurrence here? See, that's the thing that's interesting because it... it what was his name? I can't remember. The, the leader of Hayway or whatever. He was very much like, I've noticed this before. Like, hold on a minute. That's why I, I thought there was like a mystical aspect. Something maybe to do with the um, eroded cave. That's the feeling I was getting there. It's like, oh. The mist disappeared. That, that's what's confused me the most. What, what was the mist? Why the masks? There's still more we're not being told here. Hmm. Regardless. It was quite the sight. I would have taken some pictures, but my camera suddenly broke on me. It's too bad, really. Your camera broke? Like, mechanically or just wouldn't work? Because maybe there was something else going on. Oh well. I've got a treasure trove of stories to tell when I get home. And that's good enough for me. Yeah, hell of a story you can tell. Jeez. Master and I are in a funk because of what happened last night. Today he messed up the noodle prep for the first time in 10 years. We've got to get it together. People's spirits are at an all-time low, so we need to do our best to lift them. 
Easterners are like chewy noodles. Flexible and strong, but also easy to cut. We're going to put smiles back on people's faces with our noodles. We'll get through this together. Hmm. Yeah, because well. again, there's that community spirit in this area, so I'm wondering how it's going to be talked about in Newtown, because they're across the river. It wasn't their area that got affected. It was the Eastern Quarter. So there could be some difference in how they view things there. Obviously, they'll still find it horrid, but their viewpoints will be different. It'll be something that happened over there, not to them. That kind of thing. Hey, friend. Got some like, they may be more concerned with, is that going to happen over here? Now, if it happened over there, is that going to happen to us? Should we be prepared? That, that kind of thing may be in their mentalities. That's maybe what they're thinking. Again, we'll find out when we get over there. But, you know. Thanks to that Imperial moron from yesterday, I made a killing for the first time in ages. I'm not really feeling the luck today, though. Everyone's kind of on edge after last night. I consider using that to my advantage, but when I heard there were casualties, I thought I'd better not. Alright, well, at least you got some morals then. Just noticing, like, yeah, like the camera at this point, like, we can just see through the wood at the top of the screen and see the shelves. I was like, huh? It's because we're just close enough that it's starting to do the see through thing. Guess I'll just cooperate with Hayway for the time being. Yeah, you. You do that, mate. You do that. You got Come anything? The right place. Just a moshy strap. Yeah, thanks as always. Indeed. When the scary mist came out, I got goosebumps. I also felt like someone was watching me. Even Power was looking scared. What's going on? Ah, oh, here, here's the police. Yeah, I'd like to speak to the police, see what's going on there. What happened yesterday? It was all that mist, and apparently. There was an incident outside? I'm glad we were in the house. I'm glad you were in the house. I'm concerned about Linen. She was in a daze last night saying she could feel something was wrong. And she said this before the mist appeared. I need to sit down with her and try to figure out what's going on. Yeah, I guess it, maybe there is some mystical effect. Something like that's going on. Hmm. What have we got? Don't think we've got anything yet. Doesn't look like there's any good info here. Pretty well. What is that? Why? I... It's hard to believe that some of our own were murdered on this very street. I even knew the boys who were killed. Everyone's shaken, including myself. I'll just try to focus on my work. All I can do to help is make food that will hopefully cheer people up. Mm. Yeah, good on you, mate. Well. Good on you. I, I like this aspect of the community trying to pull together. It's, it's, it's only happened just last night, yet they're still all like, no, we need to pull through, help each other out. It's like, good, good. Can't believe it. Wang and the other guys are gone? It can't be. They were so strong, this just doesn't feel real. But that's all the more reason why I have to train. Someone has to protect this town, and Shin. I won't stop pushing myself until I'm on the same level as Aaron. Hmm, is that going to be good for you down the line, though? The re like, the reasons you're doing it, it's like, ooh, that could have a negative impact on him down the line. Don't know, don't know. I'm too scared to go out, but not having a grasp of the situation is frightening in its own right, indeed. The strange mist left me completely unsettled. Grandpa never told me about this. At times like these, I'm not only lock myself in my room and read a book to calm my nerves, but I think I'll seek some wisdom from someone older. I thought I was the smartest person in the room, but the fact that I didn't listen to the words of others shows that I was the ignorant one. Again, just interesting viewpoints. Last night was rough. Always hard to hear about young ones passing on so soon. Not sure what was going on with the mist. I asked the older folks about it, but they were as silent as the grave. Like they knew something. Oh. Oh ho ho. Wouldn't surprise me if this is all connected to a past incident. I'll do some digging. Like, this is what I want to know. Like, it's it's got to be something to do with the eroded cave, right? 
That's the only thing that makes sense to me right now. It pains my heart to hear about what happened to Aaron's friends. Can't provide any specifics, but according to Hayway's investigation, they suffered unnatural deaths. We're currently strengthening our security in light of this event. After last night, Hayway decided to strengthen its security. I will do everything I can to protect the Lou family. I've heard Aaron is looking to get revenge. I understand how he's feeling, but I fear he will act recklessly. Should he walk this path? Yeah, we, we need to try and calm him down so he thinks rationally. It's gonna be difficult, though. It's gonna be difficult. Right. How? I, I can't believe it. Never thought I'd live to see this all happen again. Yeah, again. What do you mean again? Uh, you okay, pal? It's pretty rare to see you freak out like this. Uh, I'm alright. Just caught up thinking about the past, that's all. I've seen that mist a long time ago. During a very dark chapter in my life. Uh, why you and the older people around here are all out of it? Did something happen back then? I... Well, you see. It's not my place to tell you, I'm afraid. Uh, please forgive me. Oh, come on. The hell? Why is she being so tight-lipped about this? Yeah, why? Not... Now, now that I think about it, though, he's very much like... No, I must be wrong. I'm letting my anxieties get the best of me. Alrighty. What? He? Sorry, I think reminiscing about that time in my life is giving me... some irrational thoughts. I can't believe I doubted that child for even a moment. It's utterly shameful. I must go to the temple and... Meditate. Perhaps that will ease my troubled heart. What happened? Well, right here. I feel bad about what happened last night, but now's not the time to close up shop. Dr. Longkai placed a rush order for medicine, so I have to get that done as soon as I can. Either a lot of folks were injured in yesterday's incident, or like me, he's still thinking about the past. No, I must be overthinking things. Regardless, I'll be keeping an extra eye out for trouble. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering what you've got to say. Because maybe it's something to do with what you were talking about previously. I remember that mist all too well. And it's reared its ugly head into our lives once more. When it appeared back then, many of us lost so many things we held dear. Will history repeat itself? Has it come to take even more from us? When will it ever be satisfied? It. It. What is it? Hmm. Like, there's that also that, like, castle-looking thing over there as well. Plans to jumpstart the tour business again were halted. We've got a mountain of issues to deal with because of last night. Anyway, put me in charge of tourist safety, so how we proceed with the rental business is up to me. Okay. Alright, so we should get our first key scene event thing in here in a minute. Hick. Oh, how can I be drinking after last night? I was going to challenge Aaron's friends to some gambling. Oh. I hate this kind of stuff. Hope those mafia goons rot in hell. Wish there was more I could do to help. Maybe I could lend Puss on a hand? As far as dealing with those rap bastards, I'll just have to pin my hopes on Jack and that red-haired kid. Can't rely on Hayway, it seems. This would be a lot easier if they'd step in. Some regulars of mine were among last night's victims. I feel so helpless behind the counter. Not like you or Jack. All I can do is watch this place. Wait, 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 wait. Is the guy that was dancing one of those people? Not the dancing, man! Oh, no! Oh, no! I've got a nasty feeling about all this. If you guys are planning to dig around, be careful. Oh, we'll be careful. All right, Jack. Hey, Jack. You look better than you usually do this time of morning. I'll take that as a compliment. I just figured that now's not the best time to be hung over. How are you guys holding up? We're doing okay, given the circumstances. What about you? I won't lie. I'm pretty shaken up. 
Some of the victims were regulars of ours. But you don't need to worry about me. I'll be fine. If you say so. Is there anything you can tell us about the victims? A little, though probably nothing you don't already know. The thing they all had in common was that they were friends of Aaron's. And now he's out for blood. Either he wants to get revenge for them, or he wants to make a declaration of war on A. I'm worried about him flying off the handle and doing something he'd regret. Yeah. You guys have any idea where he is? Has he dropped by? Well... We haven't been able to locate him, no. Could be that he's at the clinic. They're treating the sole survivor of the attack as we speak. Oh, there's a survivor. Might be worth checking that place out. Good idea. We'll head over there later. I don't have any other info for you. Wish I could have been more help. Nah, it's cool. If you learn anything new, hit me up. You got it. Well, at least you've appeared now. I understand how he feels. I'm fuming too. Jack's handling it a little better, but yeah, it's a tough day for everyone. Don't worry about us, though. But now you need to focus on finding Aaron and tracking those murderers down. I'm sorry we don't have much information to offer. We'll try to gather some while you're doing your thing. You're not the only ones who are worried about Aaron. I'll touch base with my sources and see if I can get any inside info. Might also get some leads on Hayway and A, which is a whole of a minefield. Those two go to war, this safe haven won't be safe anymore. Yeah, that's one thing that Aaron may accidentally cause. That may be the reason they attacked. Stir up trouble. Maybe, maybe. I'm so glad you are all okay. Still can't believe what happened last night. If you're looking for Dr. Longkai, he's in the examination room. He's looking after the sole survivor at the attack. Had we gotten there a moment later, that guy probably wouldn't have made it. Oh no, poor guy. What's going to happen to Longport now? Well, no matter what happens, I plan to stay by Dr. Longkai's side and walk the path of medicine with him. Good on you, lad. Good on you. You here to visit him too, Arkwright? Too? Yeah, Jack told me that someone survived the attack. Guessing he's that someone. His condition looks stable, at least. Are you gonna wake up anytime soon? I don't know. The boy has yet to regain consciousness. He just barely managed to hold on. There's a limit to what I can do here. I plan on having him move to a hospital immediately. Heiwei is handling things on that end, thankfully. I'm relieved that someone survived, but it's doubtful that we'll be able to ask him about what happened. Yeah, it's too bad. We might have gotten some good info from him. It looks like he lost consciousness from a blow to the back of the head. It's possible he didn't even see the attacker's face. The killers probably didn't realize he was just unconscious. Might be the only reason he's still alive. Hope he doesn't have survivor's guilt after this. Yeah... I can only treat the physical wounds. Whether his mental scars will heal is entirely up to him. By the way... Has Aaron come by to visit? He came at sunrise, but he left shortly after. Do you have any idea where he went? Not in the slightest. He didn't say a word the entire time, which is very unlike him. Uh-oh. He must be tormenting himself. Yeah. Try and help him if you can. He needs to be surrounded by friends now more than ever. Right. I'll make sure he's okay. Let's see what's going on with you two then. Try and speak to you, I guess? Sid? I promise to keep him alive until we can get him to the hospital. Heiwei has already contacted them. In return, I only ask that you keep Aaron company. Now I'll keep him alive until we can move him to a proper hospital. I only wish I could do more for Aaron. Please look after him if you can. I won't be able to leave here for some time, but if you need a doctor, I'm your man. You look after him, mate. You look after him. Alright, so what we got? The hotel and the church left? The kitty! Anyway. Oh, heavenly mother. 
Why did I get caught up in such a horrible tragedy? I'm not even worried about my business right now. I just want to get home safely. Oh, God, it's so heavenly, Mother. Please save me. <laughs> what happened to Sei, Huang, and the other victims fills me with great sorrow. Truly hope their souls can rest in peace. We will perform our duty and send them to the heavens above. That is the best way we can honor their courage and their memories. In accordance with the wishes of the surviving families, we've arranged to collect their bodies once Heiwei has finished performing the autopsies. I will make arrangements for the funeral while caring for the citizens' mental states. I, I just can't believe it. My former students are dead? And Aaron's run off to get revenge? Barely keeping it together, this is just too cruel. Oh, Heavenly Mother, please watch over Aaron, as well as my remaining students. Especially that one in the hospital, or well, will be in the hospital. Assuming that is one of the students, I imagine it is. My husband may seem a bit aloof at times, but he's the type who always gets the job done. That's part of why Guha. And Yan is still flourishing. I'm still in shock over the horrible incident from last night. Stay safe, you all. It's a dangerous world out there. I got all nervous again when I asked to chase people away this morning. How the heck did those assassins sneak in here without me knowing? I'm always going to be thankful to Heiwei for looking out for this old place. But I won't lie, it felt like my heart stopped for a second when I caught a glimpse of Master Yen pretending to be a servant. Oh dear. It was a surprise to see people being cleared out early in the morning. Maybe I should hole up in my room today and plan my next trip. After all, I'd rather not do anything that would make me come off as suspicious. Over my travels, I've learned to keep to myself when trouble starts subduing. Actually, have you got anything? Need to be shy now. Yeah, we got See all that. Again. See you again, mate. Hey. Hi! Right, so are we done in the Eastern Quarter? I think we are. So, let's see about heading on over and seeing how Newtown is doing. Because it didn't go. affect Newtown directly, like I said. So I'm wondering what the perception is here. Because they'll still be nervous. They'll still be worried. I heard there was an incident last night in the Eastern Quarter. People have been talking all about that weird fog. I hope my friends over there are okay. Alright, alright. We could see the fog that covered the Eastern Quarter from here. It was unsettling. Evidently, there were murders that happened within the fog. Can't blame people for being cagey this morning. I wouldn't be in the mood to go to the theatres either. Yeah. Imagine there's a few that want to go to the theater just to take their mind off it, though. Welcome. Everyone's talking about some weird mist or whatever, but I'm too busy having an existential crisis to care. Oh, it's like I'm stuck in a never-ending time loop of work and buying ready-made food. <sighs> okay. I already spoke to you. It does seem like people have only updated Mostly, anyway. They've updated with one piece of dialogue. Now, I caught a glimpse of the chaos unfolding in the Eastern Quarter while I was heading home from work. I was so distracted that I ended up making a mistake with the seasoning for dinner. Welcome. My husband and son coughed so hard they started Thank tearing up. I haven't seen that in years. Apparently, people were murdered in the Eastern Quarter. All of the customers today have come in with their heads hung low. I've got to work even harder so I can put smiles back on their faces. Yeah, it's just a slightly different perspective, isn't there? Slightly. I've been receiving multiple orders for self-defense weapons after last night. Yeah, you see? See, there would be like, we need to prepare. This, this is what I was saying, just that slight difference. To be honest, though, I don't know if they will be useful against a Mafia. Oh, and for the record, those scoundrels definitely weren't using my products. 
Oh, all right, all right, all right. I, I never expected them to anyway. Oh, last night sounded like it was pretty awful. What was with that mist anyway? I never usually get that at this time of year. And then we had those murders at the same time. Can that really be a coincidence? No, it's 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 clearly not a coincidence. Clearly. Thank you for visiting the Cowlitz. You'll never believe what happened. Right, we'll stay away from the hotel for now. Check everywhere else. Great spire, huh? There was an incident in the eastern quarter last night. People have been at a loss. I'll have to be sensitive to that while doing my job. Due to the chaos in the Eastern Quarter, Kowloon Financial Bank has entered into multiple emergency meetings. Maintaining economic stability in Langport is one of our directives. We need to respond promptly to prevent the economy from going into freefall. I mean, he, he is right. You do need to do that because it's a case of like... That could affect so many lives as well. So yeah. Last night was rough. I heard there were casualties. When something like this happens, I'm always worried I'll be caught up in Hayway's business. They're so scary. But I'm more terrified of the thugs that are out and about. Maybe Hayway is a necessary evil after all. Hmm. That's an interesting viewpoint as well when you think about it. Like maybe this is actually Hayway is doing and they don't realize. I don't know. Hmm. I doubt it though. I doubt it. Not, I've, got, I've got two things in order. There's just a pattern. It's like, I should have gone down those stairs, but I went down the others because I was busy talking. There were civilian casualties. It's hard not to feel like we failed them. The braces are all doing everything they can to bring the situation to an end. But at this point, we may need to call the main office and request some backup. I'm going to pour through all the info we have on Almata one last time. Hmm. Well... The strange mist mentioned in last night's report is concerning. It's possible that it's somehow connected to the strange phenomena that transpired in Creole Village. Was there a fog, then? Don't remember there being... a fog. Could be misremembering, though. Hmm. We need to band together and figure out what Almart is up to. I mean, it's 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 gonna be connected, obviously, but I didn't think it would be that connected. That that thought hadn't crossed my mind until now. Hmm. You there? How's some pasta sound? Welcome. I heard people from the Eastern Quarter were murdered last night. Kwana's heart is aching over this. He said we were going to stay open so that we can cheer everyone up with our food. I need to learn from his example and get my act together. If I want to open my own place in the future, I'll need his mental fortitude. So Hansen, do you think you can leave trade between Langport and Bose to our company? I believe we can. As the B will find it favorable, I'm sure. Many dealers in the Burl prefer not to do business with the Kowloon Group's subsidiary companies. So I believe your proposal makes perfect sense. It has the potential to boost everyone's profits. Excellent. That we're on the same page. We two are thinking about lessening our reliance on Kowloon. This will surely help us improve our standings in the Burl. Agreed. I have hope that the first fruits of our new partnership will yield a high return for everyone involved. What happened to that Trails in the Sky like fan dub? remembering now like that was a while ago like what happened to that is it still ongoing hmm many businesses in Burl wish to conduct a more international trade that said some of them are expressly against trading with Langport due to its ties to Hayway though I believe we are on the right track now Hayway hasn't crushed Kowloon's operations but it certainly has a stranglehold over them that's why we can't continue to rely on them. We have to find our own path forward. So we're choosing to build roads to future success by partnering with international enterprises. Oh. Business, business, business. I heard all about the incident in the Eastern Quarter. It truly pains my heart. I've been trapped in a whirlwind of trouble since coming here, but 
hardly compares to the tragedy that befell those kids. I don't know if I'll find myself face to face with danger too, but I'm not going to flee. I will stay right where I am. If I shrink in fear, I'll be letting down every one of the braces here. And that just won't fly. Okay, let's head down to the pasta guy. Everyone's fraught with worry over last night's events. I'm hoping my pasta can cheer people up a little. When I'm down, a bowl of noodles always perks me right up. Pasta, buckwheat, and instant noodles will all do the trick. I just want pasta to make a difference in the city, and maybe it can do so by bringing smiles back to people's faces. Maybe, maybe people do like pasta. Oh, sorry, pasta. On the way home last night, Mummy tripped. I was scared, so I held her hand real tight and stopped her from falling. I've got to look out for Mummy. I don't want her to get hurt. You're a good kid. When my son and I were heading home last night, we saw the fog in the eastern quarter. I wonder if that's why you were getting tired. Like, maybe whatever phenomena caused the fog and everything caused you to get tired. Hmm. I panicked and tried to rush home, but in the middle of our run, I lost my balance and nearly fell. Thankfully, my son was there to break my fall. When did he become so dependable? He's growing up so fast. I, I should make more of an effort to play with him. We need to enjoy the time we have together. You do. You do. Looking for something to drink? Maybe. Uh, I'm down in the dumps after what happened yesterday. Maybe I should take the day off. I'm sure one of the other part-timers could take over my shift. But the pasta guy's still going strong. Uh, never mind, I'd feel guilty if I threw in the towel. Don't throw in the towel, you need your towels. While I was heading to my sauna last night, the street erupted into chaos. My body moved on its own, and I managed to save some people. When things hit the fan, having martial arts training can come in handy. That's why it's so important to train your mind and body constantly, even in retirement. Hmm. All right, here we go then. This is something I want to see about. Hey, we got the jump on us with the on-site inspection, but we at least managed to catch a glimpse of the weapon's traces. You think the Alamata executives are still here? Yeah, I can't say for certain, but we should be ready for anything. I checked the roads and the railroad, but there were no signs that they left the city. My hunch tells me their hideout isn't far away. Understood. I need to do some more digging to find out where it is, but I'm sure Elaine will have it pinpointed before me. Maybe that's what she was doing at the harbor when we saw her? Thanks for that info, by the way. I'm sure she's putting it to good use. Don't mention it. All I did was pass along what I heard, nothing more. I was just exchanging info with Detective Dart. We were partners back when I was a cop. Most of the top brass is terror-stricken by Hayway, but there's still some people left on the force who've got some backbone. In my opinion, the cops and the braces need to work hand in glove. That's the way forward for us. Hmm. The police and the braces agreed to work together on this case. I'm glad I get to work alongside Hornet again. It's just like old times. Ah, old times. All right, so if we checked everywhere, good. Let's head up to the hotel. Do, do, do. Um, indeed. I'm wondering why everyone's gathered outside, though. Hmm. Is it true that there was an incident last night in the Eastern Quarter? I've never seen fog that dense before. So I snapped a few photos. Was that insensitive? I'd hand them over to the police. Because it is a case of like, yeah, that could be useful in some regard. The sight of the fog mixed in with the moon made for some captivating shots, but there was something creepy about it all too. Could we maybe have a look at the photos? During my meeting with Mr. Hong Fa, I learned yesterday's financing issue was postponed. But 
They're at least taking our plan into consideration. Speaking of Mr. Hongfa, when I first got in touch with him, he thought I was Eastern. People make that mistake all the time thanks to my name. But I don't have a drop of Eastern blood in me. No. I take back everything I said about Darren yesterday. He noticed I was really scared last night, so he grabbed my hand and led me back to the hotel. Then he comforted me and told me he'd protect me at all costs. Something happened in the Eastern Quarter yesterday. Honestly, I was pretty terrified. I could see the fog all the way from here. Then I looked over at Katusha and saw she was petrified. And that's when I knew I needed to man up. It's been a long time since I last comforted her like that. Hmm. Okay. Can I speak to you before, Ashen? The Kowloon group has been holding emergency meetings in light of last night's events. We don't want to inconvenience any of our guests, so we're trying to handle the situation. Alright. I didn't realize you were here, Ashen. Oh, it's you guys. I'm sorry about earlier. Feels like I sort of pushed everything onto you. Don't worry about it. If I felt like you were being unreasonable, I wouldn't have taken the job. Anyway, I know you guys probably are investigating this whole thing on the down low. Has Heiwei sniffed out any clue? A few, but nothing that would tell us about Aaron's whereabouts. Damn. What about Almata then? All we know about them is that they haven't made any moves since last night. We have no idea where they're hiding, unfortunately. <sighs> where could they be? Dunno. It's possible they aren't even in Langport anymore. Not based on what we heard previously. What? You think? Might have bailed so they could have gotten out of Heiwei's reach. Well, we know they didn't. But we already know that, Van. We overheard that. And now that they've stained their hands with civilian blood, the guild's gonna be out to get them, too. Do you really think Almata would just back down like that? Doubtful, but it's not impossible, either. Actually, I do think it's impossible. And I can tell you why, if you'd like. Oh, please do! By all means. There have been no sightings of gangsters since last night. We have eyes on every road leading out of Langport. So if they have escaped, we would know. I can guarantee they're still in Longport. Hard to picture a bunch of low-life gangsters evading Heiwei's surveillance network. Well, I guess that settles that. Sorry, I can't answer your other questions. Oh, good. Having confirmation on that alone is a huge for us. So, we should be thanking you. Keep us in the loop if anything changes. Of course. I'm going to be talking with some other people about this, so hopefully I'll have more to share later. Alright, that's it for this area, I think. Shame we didn't learn anything worthwhile. So what's our next move? I think we're going to have to resort to venturing into enemy turf. By enemy turf, do you mean the Mesladum Trading Company building? It's right nearby. That's right, it's a risky play, and it might just end up being a waste of time. We don't got many other options, though. Watch your backs, and don't get too far ahead of me. Understood. Got it. Alright, let um, speak to you again. I'm gonna ask Baba if he knows anything about our martyr. Then I'll hit up some other connections. I wouldn't be surprised if they had multiple hideouts, but as far as I know, Heiwei hasn't been able to find any of them. Hopefully we can find them before Aaron does. Hmm. Is there anything altered before we have a look down there? Doesn't seem to be on that front. Nothing that I can see here. Very well, let's head on over here. If all were as it seemed, this would be Almata's home base. Yeah, but I don't think anyone's here anymore. Probably jumped ship earlier to avoid fighting here anyway. Still, our troublemaker might be in there right now. Are we going to infiltrate the facility then? That's what I'm thinking. Keep an eye out for traps, got it? Of course. This is definitely trespassing, but I suppose now's really not the time to be arguing. 
I've already saved you the trouble. Oh, hello. Oh, it's Elaine. What are you doing here? Now, when did you become the breaking and entering type? Never. The police supplied us with a warrant. In light of last night's tragedy, the girl can no longer stand by idly. I was hoping to find a lead here, but alas, it's completely empty inside. Completely empty. Is that so? Do you think they moved to a new base then? I don't think this place was ever their primary base to begin with. Nothing inside suggests that it was ever used as an office. Though there were plenty of thugs that used to hang around here. A literal dummy company, huh? Indeed. However, the fact that even the thugs have left must mean something. They were likely involved with what happened last night. For sure. Even if all the pieces ain't clicking quite yet. I'm of the same mind. What do you mean? What happened to those boys was no fight. It was a slaughter. One look at their bodies told the whole story. These aren't average thugs that we're dealing with. They seem more like the murdering type. Whoever tore up those bodies didn't show a lick of restraint. Honestly, I don't know if the real Armata goons would be capable of that. I concur. Those wounds bother me even more than the mysterious fog that suddenly rolled in. I don't know, I'm, I'm more bothered about the fog. That said, I fear we may see worse bloodshed yet. I'm going to investigate another potential lead. If you intend on continuing this case, please be careful. The Mestalism Trading Company might not be our only enemies here. Hmm. Gosh, she's got enough to worry about herself. I know she's strong, but will she be okay investigating like this? Can we work alongside her? Well, we'll cross that bridge if we come to it. So, should we go look inside for ourselves? Nah, if she didn't find anything, we won't either. And she would have mentioned it if she found anything about Aaron. I just don't understand where he could have run off to. How is it that even Hayway doesn't know where he is? Both him and those thugs disappearing at the same time can't be a coincidence. There's no evidence of them leaving the city, right? Nope, but that's an important fact. Hayway's got eyes all over the city, but there are still blind spots. I mean, we're talking about a city with a population of 550,000 after all, not to mention the naval base. There's no way we can search everywhere, top to bottom by ourselves. I'm sure that's what Hayway is doing right now. But we ain't Hayway, so we gotta think outside the box. Who are you contacting? Alright, this should work. Are you accessing the orbital network? Oh. What are you looking at? A real estate site. I'm checking to see if anything else went down when Almata brought bought this place. Oh. Real estate? Is that fake estate too? Oh dear. Bingo! A huge warehouse at the docks got rented out at almost the exact same time as this office. Can't see exactly where or who the client is, but I ain't complaining. We've got ourselves a lead. Uh, so essentially, this Messledom Trading Company is a ruse meant to divert attention from the warehouse. That'd be the, the door. Like that, that door that had the, the yellow marker on the map, implying we could go inside and I couldn't get inside. It's that. Because that is where Almata's anti hayway forces are stationed. Oh, I see. Spot on. Time to hustle, gang. Huh? But we don't know where we're going or who rented the facility. Oh, are we going to ask the realtor who brokered the deal? Bad idea. If Almata really did rent the place, there's no way the realtor will blab. They just end up dead. How for all we know, they've already been silenced. Almata is cruel enough to do something like that. I've got a better plan anyway. We're headed to the one guy who's got a better nose for this city than me. Certain lousy drunk of a gambler with low blood pressure and a partner who might as well have him by a leash. Oh. I don't think he'd appreciate that description of himself. That may be accurate though, but you know. Alright, make sure we're still done around here. Okay. Alright, back to Eastern Quarter. Gambit Bar. Let's do this. 
Let's do it. Ooh. Oh, it's just both of you. I was wondering why there was two key events here. Hey, Jack. You got a sec? Well, look who decided to drop by. Getting a little busy, as you might imagine. Let's get straight to it. The big warehouse was rented out the same day the Messalism Trading Company moved in across town. I want to know where it is, and who the renter is. I had a feeling this might happen. What? Aaron asked us the exact same thing this morning. Why didn't you tell us that? He told us not to mention his visit, but since you know so much, there's no point hiding it now. Oh. He was here? We finally found his trail. As for the place, I started paying attention when the realtor went belly up under suspicious circumstances. Oh. That was about three weeks ago, around the end of August. Keeping track of these kind of things is a side business of mine, so I kept my ears open and got a list of the realtor's other properties. Imagine my shock noticing the guy croaked the same day Messledom Trading Company moved in. The place was rented out by another realtor, so I didn't put the pieces together until our red-headed friend came knocking. So Aaron's been following the same line of logic as we have. And the realtor did end up being silenced after all. Damn. I was, I was hoping they were wrong on that, but oh. So come on, where is it? And who rented it? Starting with question two, it was rented by the Tharbad Transportation Company. Yeah, there you go. Tharbad? It's in the city in southeast Calford. That's right. Some call it the gate to the central east. It makes sense that you're familiar with it. Another generic company name, huh? But this one's a dummy too. Probably. When I looked into it, there were no records of a company registered with that name. I never did figure out why they picked Tharbad. Of all places, though. Hmm. Could have chosen a map and a dartboard for a wiener. There's going to be more to it, the way you're highlighting it. Anyway, back to question one. Let me send the location to you, Zifa. Zifa. Hm. Ain't you prepared? Hold on. It's at the wharf right next to Newtown, yeah? Really? But I don't remember seeing anything strange the last time we were there. I remember seeing the warehouse, though. Alright, let's get a move on. Aye, aye. Thank you both for your help. I hesitated about telling you guys, to be honest. Aaron moved like a man possessed when he was here. Given what happened, I can't really blame him. Please help him through all of this if you can. That's the plan. The Lou family already requested the same thing. We want to help him too, of course. You can count on us. Nod. Alright, so... Oh. I'd expect you guys to have more to say. Do what you can to help Aaron. Oh, you do. In the meantime, Jack and I will keep looking into A. Hopefully we have a breakthrough soon. Oh, that actually felt like it was the same as last term. I should have known better to keep secrets from you. Well, we're all in this together now, so we might as well help each other out. You take care of Aaron, and I'll gather information. Fair deal? Um... Yeah, it still feels like... What was last time? And that maybe there was a extra bit of dialogue? Just a tiny, 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 tiny bit more? Right, Harbour District. Let's do this. Let's do it. The warehouse should be close by, right? Yeah. Just need to take a left at the corner, and then another left at the three-way junction. Got it. Which is down here. This is the place. Better make sure we're ready before we head in. Well, let's hold off then. And what we'll do is we'll end this part here, and in the next part we'll head on in. Makes sense to me. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.